we are going to be continuing on. However, it appears while I was on break, I got fucking bot spammed with uh, people wanting me to buy followers from Streamboo. That's not happening. But I have blocked the term, so hopefully that leads to less of those. But you know I'm becoming famous when... Uh, I get spammed the fuck out of there by the bots. Oh, get out of here, bird. We're here for treasure, not for birds. Fucking birds. Unfortunately. So the last three minutes isn't going to be anything too exciting. We're just going to get the treasure chests that we missed. And hopefully... That'll give us what we need. Six thousand eight hundred gold. Okay. Bird just flew out of fucking nowhere. Looks like that's all just a bunch of dead ends. So maybe there's another way to get in here? Alright, I gotta change my, uh... I was like, why is my character going green? But I just remembered I got the, uh, thing that restores the percentage of my HP every couple seconds. this way. Yes, flag. I guess I can't change which character's using this. The weak ball. This one, then we get that other chest, then we can head back. Battle suit. All 
Oh, you got that one. Okay. Let's get out of here. But he was not. Hey, we're going back. Oh shit. BDS is going into blinking red mode. Huh. We're okay. We're safe. Set this up here real quick. Plug this back in. Oh. Alright. Sorry about that, team. My 3DS started to die, so I had to get the, the power cord plugged into it. Okay. So we're gonna leave this area. We're gonna go back to Sheridan. Advance the story a little. Um. Fuck. I hate these little shits. They hurt. sword with the power of uh, the first phonic. Said to be a catalyst for phonic guards. Oh, this is one of the um, special weapons. It's not anywhere near as good as what I got, though. At least not on the surface. Okay. No, I will fight you, but not the other one. from Billy Dies. Okay. Not the biggest fan of Guardian Field, but it's not bad. It hits multiple times. It's just very slow to set up and execute, and then you got a big delay afterwards. Every time I go to use it, like, unless I have tears, like, um, one shield spell on me or uh, the enemy stunned or something, it's not worth using because something's gonna hit me and interrupt it. Just stay dead. Which is kind of annoying, but. Yay, we're back in Sheridan. 
everything. I'll go on ahead and deliver the hover drive. Oh, that was fast. Alright. Let's check that there'd be more pets in. Let's go to the end first, if I can, and uh... There. So what that's gonna do is uh, allow me to heal. Okay. Let's go advance the story a bit, shall we? Save again. All right. Let's go to the meeting hall. Ain't no one's in here. So they're probably at the aircraft dock. who sailed over here on a Malkuth land ship. Hmm? Are you a Malkuth soldier? Uh-oh. Run! Capture them! Ah, you're back! Aston's about to attach the hover drive right now. Open this door immediately! What's going on? We were spotted by Kim Laskin's soldiers. Oh, that's right. You're a soldier from Malkuth. This city originally produced landships for Malkuth. If we weren't on the brink of war, nobody would have cared. Speaking of landships, we took a load of parts from yours. There are even some parts that aren't being manufactured anymore. It was a big help. Hi, Mira. Hello, Mini Cat. Thanks to that, the Tartarus is no longer operational. But if the Albior can actually fly, we won't need the Tartarus anymore. What do you mean, actually? The Albior carries our hopes and dreams. It will never fall. It already did. Hey, guys, hurry it up. They're breaking down the door. What's the condition of the Albior 2? It's finished, and the pilot's ready too. Okay, we'll handle those soldiers. But the soldiers are quite irate. Perhaps I should tell them who I am. There's no time! Leave it to us. Never underestimate the elderly. Now, take off into the great sky of dreams. The great sky. We'll leave the rest to you. By our honor as Sheridan's Class M, this is as far as you go! Mini Cat, what are you doing? I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I'm the Albior 2's pilot, Noel. Genji, the Albior 1's pilot, is my older brother. I'll fly you to St. Vina in his stead. Thanks. Let's go. Oh shit, here we go. That's right, we got our airship, guys. All right, sorry if you guys are talking. I can't actually see chat right now because Mira is sitting right in front of the screen. Mr. Hello, McGovern, Cat. are you all okay? Ah, it's you. What's that vehicle? Field Marshal, we'll talk later. Right now, let's just get everyone on board. No, don't do that. These cords are not for the mini cat. Oh shit, look at that. There it goes.
Well then. Allow me to express my gratitude. But what's going to become of St. Mina? I imagine it will sink into the mantle before long. No! Is there nothing we can do? This is like when Hod fell. They say it took a month to sink. Hod. Hmm. So this is vengeance for Hod. Is there really nothing we can do? It's sad to lose your home. It's already weird enough having the ground fall apart. I can't think of anything we can do. It's hopeless. I know. What about the Sephiroth? This place fell because Master Van messed with that passage ring thing and did something to the Sephiroth, right? Then can't we just bring it back? But we don't know how to use passage rings. Then we'll interrogate Master Van and... Luke, there's no way we could pull that off. I understand how you feel, but... No, you don't, Guy. None of you do. Luke. I'm the one who destroyed Axarius. That's why I have to do something now. I know this won't make up for what I've done. But if I could save this one city... Luke, hey, get a hold of yourself. You won't get anything done like that. Let's go to Yulia City. They know more about the Sephiroth than we do. Now that the score predicting St. Bina's safety has faltered... Yes, Grandfather might be willing to help. And Luke, you sounded like a child a moment ago. Everyone here wants to save St. Bina. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. We're not mad or anything. I'll launch the Albior then. Jeremy's mad. Jeremy, we got an airship. It's called the Albior. The Albior can fly free. Use left or right turn. Up or down to raise or lower the nose. A to move forward, Y to move back. Press B to land. A to take off. Basic Albior is only able to land on planes. Also, please note that you cannot save while riding in the Albior. At least we were able to save the people of St. Bina. Yeah, where, there's life, there's hope. But I want to save St. Bina itself. I know, we all saw how worked up you were. Luke, you've performed your duty as a member of the Kimbloskin royal family admirably. Now we can search for a way to save the town itself. I know, Jade just chewed me up for getting too anxious too. Yeah, having uh, saved the people is more than enough for now. Absolutely. I hardly think that atonement means having to feel constant guilt. The clip-off looks even harsher from the sky. The people of St. Bina must be so worried. Indeed. It's hard enough to believe that the entire town has fallen in... This looks like a world of death. I wonder what really happened to this planet. Is it not the result of the, a war in the Dawn Age? Yes, and the Miasma was later sealed underground. Or rather, the crust itself was raised to create the Outer Lands. But could a simple war have triggered the Miasma? Do you think there's something else responsible? I have no proof, but it would certainly be worth investigating. Researching the Dawn Age is difficult, but it's worth keeping in mind. Yeah. Alright. Can I actually leave the cliff off? Oh no. I don't think I can. It's fine, we got a mini cat here. Hi, mini cat, what you up to? What are you doing, silly girl? We have reached Yulia City. Father. I figured you'd come. I've been waiting for you. Grandfather, please help us. We want to save St. Bina. Yes, I suppose we must, though we are fearful of deviating from the score. Before we talk, I'd like to let the people from St. Bina get some rest. 
Oh, yes. Let us take them in. Thank you. These people are taking it rather well. Imagine none of them knew about the clip-off. Don't be discouraged. What? Jade rarely scolds people. Uh, what he said earlier shows that he's taken a liking to you. Field Marshal, don't put words in my mouth. Old folks don't have time to bother scolding people we don't like. Jade is no different. Honestly, of all the things to say, I'm going on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he pegged him. Guess Jade has a few soft spots after all. We're fearful of deviating from the score. You mean the score that has already been deviated from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fuck, Annis? Tear. Um, thanks. What's this, all of a sudden? You've scolded me from the very beginning. Oh, that was just... I mean... It's weird. I always thought of getting scolded as a bad thing. It's not a good thing, either. I know that. What do you think, Minicat? Do you like getting scolded? Every time I come here, I think about Ash. Ash? Yeah, he told me the truth about myself, and through him, I learned a little about the world around me. That may be what really got me, thinking that I needed to change. See, he always used to get in our faces and pick fights and all, but lately, he just left us alone. You're right, I wonder what he's trying to accomplish. The next time we encounter him, it may not be as an enemy. It might be as a mini cat. You're not telling me I have to get along with him? I'm saying we may not have to fight him. Hmm. When Ash appears, it's always been for something important, one way or another. Don't forget that. Well, at least we've reached Julia City safely. Though the people of St. Bina will probably take a while to get used to it. Yeah. And it looks like Jade's finally started to improve his view, Luke. Not just the Colonel either. Annis, Natalia, and of course, us of course too. We all think you're doing well. I can't really tell myself. I'm just doing what I have to. I haven't had any chance to really try and change myself or think about how I used to be. Well, to be honest, nobody would believe you if you came out saying, I'm gonna change all the time. <laughs> Indeed. Don't laugh about it. Sorry. In any case, let's finish what we have to do. That's right, Minnie Cat. You're very cute. Perhaps even the cutest of cats. We don't know. Let's just talk to McBride here. Thanks for your help in this little disaster. The fuck out of my way. Alright, here we go, guys. We're in a conference. I'll get to the point. Is there any way to save Singbina? Oh, this is a difficult problem. If only we had the key of Lorelei that Yulia used. 
The key of Lorelei? What's that? It sounds kind of familiar. It refers to the sword and jewel of Lorelei. If I recall, it was used when creating the planet. Hey, Jeremy, storm. get back to work. What if Deuce was mathematically proven to be the cutest cat? I'd be surprised. I've also heard it referred to as the symbol of the pact between Yulia and Lorelei. Correct. The key of Lorelei is said to be a phonic weapon created by Yulia using the power of Lorelei. The Sword of Lorelei gathers Seventh Phonons and the Jewel of Lorelei disperses them. It's said that the key itself is made of Seventh Phonons. Supposedly, Yulia summoned Lorelei into the key and freely commanded that power. Whether that is true or not, what is true is that it could control the Sephiroth. But once the planet storm was formed, the key of Lorelei was cast down into the core. Yes, we can't use something we don't have, something that may not exist at all. In any case, I suspect it would be impossible to lift St. Bina back up to the Outer Lands. Hmm, is there really nothing anyone can do? It may be possible to at least prevent it from sinking beneath the liquefied surface. With the Sephiroth? Yes. They are controlled by devices called Passage Rings. By using the Passage Ring to restore the Sephiroth, we might be able to keep St. Bina afloat. Where is the Passage Ring that controls the Sephiroth tree for the St. Bina region? At Shuri Hill. It's to the east of St. Bina. That's where I was taken when I was captured on the Tartarus. At the time, I thought it would still be protected by the Albertesque and Yulian seals. The Albertesque seal disappeared once the passage rings for Hod and Exiriuth were destroyed. But the Yulian seal should not unlock until the promised time. But the Commandant must have unlocked it and operated the passage rings, right? Yes, even we don't know how he did it. Let's worry about that later. How do we operate the passage ring? I've heard that all of the control panels require the use of the seventh phonon. Well, we've got three people who can use that. Tyr, Luke, and myself. The other issue is whether Van has done anything to damage the passage ring. We won't know that until we get there. If it's east of St. Bina, then it's probably falling along with the city. All right, we gotta go to Shuri Hill. The passage ring at Shuri Hill. I hope it actually works. I doubt Van will be leaving it untouched for us to use. Indeed, his planning so far seems to be impeccable. That sounds sarcastic for some reason. How odd, I meant it quite literally. <laughs> well, thinking about Van won't accomplish anything. We'll just have to visit Sherry Hill and see. Yeah. We'll just have to visit Sherry Hill, Jeremy. Anyway, enjoy your day at work. We're not going to be going too much longer here, guys. I'm just going to go uh, fly, hopefully, and get to a spot where I can uh, do some grinding off stream. Not much grinding. We've actually gained quite a few levels today. I wasn't expecting us to jump quite as high as we did. I think I was level 31 when we started. We've gained four levels today. Whoever it still lives in them, uh, the sky must literally be falling. Yeah? You're not wrong. Jesus, this pathway for takes forever. Alright, so how do we leave? It feels so slow.
Lots of stuff. Surely Hill's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I think. Make sure this is it here. Entrance. It's normally hidden by a phonic art, but if I recall correctly, the phonic art was created using three red phone stones and the fifth phonon. Three red phone stones? Hmm. Fifth phonon is the fire phonon, right? Find an enemy to fight real quick. that red gem. Hey, look, there's a phone stone over there, too. I also said the place was, uh, with the passage ring is sealed by red phone stones. I don't think that's related. No, oh, but I wonder what it is. step outside of here and uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. For now, Shuri Hill is where we're going to end for now. But in case, are there enemies out here on, uh, on the cliff -off? So you want to fight? Yeah, but they're just weak ones. We're not going to get any XP here. Un unlockers, it's fine though. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's stream! I hope you guys enjoyed, 